Hello, welcome to the Grumpy Gobbler channel. My name's Noah, and in today's video, I'm going to explain why I sleep inside my Forerunner and not on a rooftop tent, on a ground tent, and maybe why you should consider building a sleeping platform in the back of your vehicle, if you have room. Thanks for coming along. Well, I think it's uh, time to talk about what I think the benefits are of sleeping inside a vehicle versus a ground tent or a rooftop tent. And at least I can tell you why I do it. And uh, what you do, obviously, is up to you. Some people like ground tents. Some people like rooftop tents. And uh, I certainly thought about getting a rooftop tent. But I obviously already have stuff on my roof. And I like keeping that stuff up there. I have recovery stuff in the box up there and my traction boards, uh, high lift jack, uh, axe and shovel. Not that I couldn't find other places for that, but uh, I don't like taking up that whole roof rack that I spent uh, $1,700 on or something like that for a rooftop tent. Seems kind of ridiculous to me. So that's one reason I didn't go with a rooftop tent, or a couple reasons, or one. I can't count, I don't know. Um, I don't like all that roof, that uh, weight up at the top. I certainly d wouldn't get a soft sided tent because I wouldn't want the flapping in the wind and stuff like that. I tend to camp in the winter and I wouldn't want to deal with trying to put it away with snow on it. And that kind of goes the same with a hard-sided rooftop tent. I wouldn't want to try to shovel off the snow and be up there. And that brings me to my next point. In the winter, if I was up there in a rooftop tent, if it was hard-sided, even if I had the... Uh, some rooftop tents have insulation kits to make it warmer in the winter. I would have to put that on. That'd be an additional expense. And I don't think it'd be as warm as being inside the vehicle. In here, I can put, you can see the WeatherTech window liners. I only have the back ones in right now and I didn't even bring the other ones this, this time. But those with the reflective side going in keeps a lot of the heat in and between my breathing and the refrigerator generating heat it stays really warm in here I've camped down to zero degrees and been okay in here not with my summer sleeping bag of course but with my minus 20 degree bag and it's been fine and I've actually had the windows cracked for ventilation and it's just not that cold in here at least comfortable for me even if I do get cold I can remote start the Forerunner, and I always leave the heater on full blast, so when I remote start it, the heater turns on. Runs for 15 minutes and shuts off automatically, so it warms up, I fall back asleep, and the truck shuts off. And that's, a, to me, a great reason to sleep inside your vehicle, especially if you have remote start. I understand not every vehicle has space to build a sleeping platform and sleep inside, but if you do, uh, or at least for me, this just works out perfect for me. And I like the kind of like that closed-in feeling of being inside the vehicle. Another benefit is if something happens in the middle of the night and I need to vacate, I can do it really quickly and maybe not with the awning deployed, I could get in the driver's seat and drive away. In the winter, I don't always have an awning out, and so I could drive away if I really needed to. That would be an absolute worst case scenario, but if nothing else, with the windows up and the doors locked, I'm totally secure in here, and I don't have to worry about wild animals at all. 
because I am fully protected. Now in the summer, these are just my window screens and my windows are open. So uh, a bear could get through here, um, but I think I'd have enough warning and I always have a weapon with me so I could protect myself. So I'm just not worried about it now in the ground tent. And I heard a story of some woman up in Montana, I think, who actually got dragged out of her ground tent. She was on a bicycling trip and killed by a bear. She was in a tent. So obviously a vehicle adds a lot more protection. So let me see what else I can think of. Ground tent, uh, again, protection. And I'm lazy. I don't want to set up a ground tent. This takes me a couple minutes and I'm set up already. And break it down in the morning. I don't technically have to break it down. I could just throw all my other crap in the vehicle. I'm going to be on my way if I wanted to. So, ground tent. Some are easy and they wouldn't take that much time. Uh, but even some of the easier ones that I've had that take up more time than I'm willing to give when I'm by myself. If I'm going to be with my wife for a few days, it's different. And I don't mind a ground tent. We have a Gazelle T4 that we love. It's very easy to set up. But when I'm by myself, I just don't have to go through the effort. And I have my refrigerator inside the vehicle with me. So if I get hungry or thirsty or something, it's right there. So let me think if there's anything else. Now my sleeping platform is way more complex than it actually needs to be. If you wanted to build a sleeping platform, then you wouldn't have to have something as complex as mine. You can just build, put some plywood in there and put some two by fours and you're done. And then you have a place to sleep. And if I was on a road trip or something, I could just leave this set up and just pull over on the side of the road and go to sleep. And that's nice to have that option. In the summer, with the window vents, there's plenty of cross ventilation. And just like the winter and turning on the remote starting and turning on the heater, I could, if I was boiling hot, have the uh, air conditioning come on and cool it down that way. I've never had to do that, but typically I'm, count, I'm camping at high elevation in cooler places, so I really don't have to worry about that. Um, let me think if there's anything else I can talk about if you have any questions uh, or you have opinions about it I'm open to listening to your opinions put them in the comments below and I'll, I'll respond to every comment unless you're a jackass and then I just won't respond to you but if you just ask a question I'll respond to it there you go